Good evening. Just to give you some context on this video, last year when the world was shut, myself and some socially distanced friends, it was like the third take of me trying to say that, decided to get together and talk about the Erica project. Now for you steely-eyed viewers who were paying attention with the last video, I talked about an alternate history scenario called Erica 2021. As I said, I was heavily inspired by such uh, book series like Man in the High Castle, etc, etc. Um, but there's also a really interesting film which I thoroughly recommend. It's called It Happened Here from the British Film Institute. It was recorded in the 1950s, which is phenomenal. But what makes it phenomenal is this was an amateur film. There was no visual effects or anything, but they had German soldiers running around in London. It was a really interesting premise. It's set during the war. Uh, Britain's been occupied, but most of it feels like a newsreel. It's phenomenal. I've been trying to soak myself in different alternate history scenarios where the world gets taken over. Um, I came across this film, The White King, even though it's got Jonathan Price in it, fantastic, but the film itself is terrible. I do not recommend watching it. Go and watch a trailer or something. The trailer is fairly nice, but when you actually come to watch the film, really bad. But anyway, enough of that. So, um, as I was saying, I got together with some friends and we decided to talk about some stuff. Uh, I'll even chuck in some uh, costume test shop things where I've got a little gun. So, enjoy! One interesting thing, I did sit down and I was talking to the camera about some of the more serious aspects of it, but <laughs> turns out we weren't recording. So, I'll just chuck in some of the bits um, of me, but it looks like all I'm literally there for is comic relief. Yeah, let's wrap that it up. Was fun, that was really yes. good. That was, I'm glad we did all that. Hi, Hi I'm, I'm Anna. Um, I'm an actress. I'm going to be working with Dan in the new Erica. Um, I'm from Woolpit yeah, and in Suffolk. I'm very excited to take part. It's sort of my first ever involvement in anything to do with any cameras or anything like that. I'm always I'm a stage actress, so I'm really excited for that. Um, you know, I've been doing acting for a long, long time. Is that a real dog? I'm a real dog. <coughs> I find the whole concept really, really interesting. She's a sort of character that I've, not, I've never played her before. I've always played sort of very caricature, almost sort of um, characters in Face Man, Tanani, all those sort of things. But she's a very more well rounded character. She's more serious in the sense that she is a lot more depth to her. Because in black and white, she's just an ordinary girl, really. But there's actually so much that she'll be discovering and she'll find more about herself and she'll really develop. I think that will be really fun to sort of, you know, explore, in my opinion. I love that about actually exploring and creating characters. Because Erika is a bit shorter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it just seems... I feel like... Mm, I think it's straight, but... No, Nick, that's ugly light. <laughs> no, no. I was gonna say, <laughs> that's if there were bright white lights, but they're yeah. a bit more light. I'm gonna get some white LED ones. Lights. Mm. Well, I think that's the thing with character one, one. arc. It, just, it makes the whole story so much more interesting and gripping. Think, what on earth is gonna happen next? What is she gonna discover? What is this going to change about Erica? Because, I mean, the series is about her. You're following her the whole way through. You're gonna see a very different Erica from the beginning than you see at the very end almost a different person probably because she's what you know in the beginning she's set in her ways the way she lives is correct everything around is correct and then it just gradually starts to change to very dark sinister sort of revelation essentially and she's thinks oh my goodness this is not what it really is like down in the depths so that would be quite cool we're recording all of this and we don't have microphone in so we have camera sound okay is <clears throat> you're literally in a world that teaches you that there are inferior races. How do you find your humanity in that? What is humanity? Like, that's the whole point. You've always grown up without any sort of humanity, haven't you? And then you sort of, but it's always in there, rooted in everybody. It's there. It's masked though with all these ideologies. So it gradually starts to come out with Arab because there's you know all these ideologies start to be ripped apart. And it's breaking through this, this realization of this is this is just the totalitarian state, and it's um, she starts to realize just how dreadful, awful, and vile 
the um, society really is in that time and how many people are actually suffering. It's all masked. <laughs> it's all masked with, you know, this perfect life when it is far from. It's like Stepford Wives, isn't it? It's not real. You have like these action events and then it's like, there's a sound. Oh, no. Yeah, and then I'm going to go that way. <laughs>